Hi everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, Analytics Advocate at Google, and today I'm joined by Alon Gottesman, who is a Product Manager on Google Data Studio. In this quick tip video, Alon is going to walk us through the Double Click Campaign Manager connector uh, into Data Studio and show us how you can really utilize that data coming in to create really beautiful reports and get more out of that DCM data. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Alon. Thank you, Krista. So yeah, we recently launched our DCM integration and we're super excited about it. Um, I think everyone watching this video already knows DCM, it's a platform that uh, lets uh, users traffic, uh, plan, and track their campaigns. It does a lot of amazing things. One thing it maybe doesn't do as well is allow users to build these dashboards that are super interactive, dynamic, and live. But lucky for us, that's exactly what Data Studio does. So um, excited to, uh, to to walk you guys through um, uh, what this connector can do. We won't show you how to actually connect to the data. We've we've uh, done quick videos on these before YouTube and and um, and others. So we'll just jump right into the report now. And uh, so this is a a template that we created. It uh, shows off kind of the sort of things that you could do uh, in Data Studio and. Uh, we can just start t talking about the g general look and feel of the report. Data Studio always focuses on really beautiful dashboards, things that, that are aesthetically pleasing. And so, you know, you, you can note that uh, top left, we've got a, a DCM logo. You can, of course, swap that out. Um, the, the colors here, the co color scheme can be changed to, to match your brand. Um, so always, always that focus for really beautiful reports. Um, in the top right, we've got a date selector and you can uh, use it to change the, the, the time dimension here that, uh, that filters your report. And then we'll just walk through, through this uh, dashboard. So uh, top left, we've got a time series that shows impressions, clicks, and click-through rate over this time, uh, time period, which uh, is the last 28 days. Um, to the right over here, there's a set of um, scorecards. So we show that over the last 28 days, 6.9 million impressions, 98,000 clicks, and 1.4 uh, click-through rate. We also have, uh, we can see how many uh, measurable impressions there were and what percent of the impressions were viewable. Um, and you'll note that all of these have uh, these comparisons at the bottom, so you, you can see how we did relative to the previous 28 days. Um, scroll down, we have a couple of bullet charts here. Um, these show uh, our click-through rate and then our viewability rate um, over the last 28 days versus a target that we had set. So we came up short on both of these for this particular campaign. Um, and then if we go down to the last trail to the bottom of the report, we've got a table that shows um, conversions um, and a uh, group by activity group. And you can see the actual number of conversions, view through conversions, click through conversions in total. Um, in the middle here, we've got video completions by platform type, meaning where did your impressions actually run, um, on which, which platform, desktop, mobile, etc. And finally, um, a, a map here showing where your, uh, your impressions actually, this is, sorry, conversions. This is, this is a number of conversions by country. And, uh, you know, we can kind of hover, hover over and see, um, get more details. If we wanted to, as report creators, we could also change this to be uh, zoomed in on just on just the U.S. or just a certain continent or region. Um, so that's this, this is the kind of report that you could create in Data Studio for um, for DCM with your DCM data. Of course, if you wanted to, again, you could create a brand new canvas, um, generate all all the tables and visualizations that you care about uh, that are relevant to your campaign or your client, and uh, and and add a lot of beautiful visual elements that uh, help you tell a great story. Great, thanks Alon for showing us how to use the DCM connector to really visualize a lot of that data that is specific to DCM. Um, you also mentioned that this is a template. We have another quick tip video that'll show you even more how you can take advantage of templates in Data Studio. And uh, thank you guys for watching.